Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogboat 333, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Culture Creek. Yes, New England. Now, last time we were here together, we went ahead. I think the midterms wrapped. Now that I'm up with you a little bit ago. We were messing around with some uh, reindustrialization, uh, recovering Philadelphia. And then, how are. How's all this doing over there? I lose some stuff there. New Jersey's still struggling a fair bit. Um, but we can catch it back up eventually. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like um let's gain Poland, Maine. Also, not just dandy for him. Alright, let's do. I'm afraid I'm not doing this because I don't want to lose the uh, monthly population. We could do the St. Lawrence Seaway. I'm curious about this. Let's check this out. The St. Lawrence proposal allows our nation to fully benefit from navigable waterways of the St. Lawrence River. Supporting this proposal will undoubtedly help our trade with Canada and the Great Lakes government. That I can get behind. There we go. So I'm looking at... Liberal Democrat in New York. Thomas Dewey isn't a dem. What the fuck are you talking about? Terrible news out of Maine, as fishermen there have failed to locate any healthy salmon for the president. The tradition of serving the president, the first salmon caught out of the, out of the Penobscot River, dates all the way back to 1912 under President Taft. This tradition carried its way through the Second American Civil War, though changing to the present New England. Maine fishermen blamed the salmon drought on newly built dams that obstruct the salmon's breeding grounds and an increase in pollution. Though efforts to save a salmon's population are being made, the president was visibly upset that tonight's dinner would be bourbon chicken. No smoked salmon. I can't believe it. I'll do this, why not? After years of market research, James, James Sakari has coined a new form of marketing, subliminal advertisement. His marketing strategy sees companies use words like drink soda or eat popcorn to increase sales of these products. By showing these quick messages that the subconscious picks up on but the viewer doesn't, consumers are far more likely to purchase a subliminal product. Sakari's research is being pushed by large companies which are truly pushing the boundaries of this new discovery. The soda does sound nice. Soda does sound pretty nice. Oh! Look at that, we've infiltrated the National Guard. Let's do some low level contacts and then establish some contacts in the legislature. Fucking Rhode Island Republicans. Damn it. Um. Hmm. It's not going the best. We'll do rock artillery too. Why not? Russell Long. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, hate those fucking traffic accidents. Let's do some small business subsidies while we're here. Yeah. War is one of the fastest ways to destroy a business, and the Second American Civil War certainly did that. Working with small business owners to subsidize their stores is one of the easiest ways to keep our booming economy. And rebuild the naval yard. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? And then St. Lawrence Seaway. Oh, Canada has to finish it to propose it. Okay. 
Okay then, I see how it is. A coup in Portugal, what the hell? I don't know what this means. Marble strips. Local contacts have been built. There we go, we got some A bombs. And Republicans are gaining in Maine, god damn it. I'm starting to look like a. Maine is more Republican than fucking New York, the Republican bastion. What the shit? Alright, we could start making nuclear bombs if we so desired. Um, is there any more useful, actually useful stuff we can work on? Excavation. Let's work on excavation. Ah. Drats. Um, build level of level contacts. Let's try infiltrating the National Guard again. Yes, yeah, we had an okay time with that. Let's expand some stops on the railroad. Small business subsidies, there we go. Next up, um, let's expand Wall Street. Well, Wall Street was one of the main causes of the economic downturn in the 20s and 30s. Everyone in our government knows the potential it has. Expanding Wall Street will no doubt increase our presence in the global economy. Go. Adlai Stevenson the second. That's a weird one. And fucking New Jersey Republicans. What the hell? Didn't realize he was over there. Interesting. Is that a T and O? No, I'm not gonna make that joke. Billy Hart. Good to see him. Get a super bazooka. Uh, how's Vietnam doing? I just realized we kind of been letting it. Uh, it's existing all right. Oh, Dr. Jonas Salk, a noted virologist from New York City, injected his family and himself with an experimental polio vaccine earlier this month. Dr. Salk has reported that while the full results of the experiment are still several months out, there's cause for optimism, as new findings have shown promise. A vaccine for the paralytic virus will be a godsend for parents across the world as child polio cases continue to rise. Best of luck, Dr. Salk. That's actually kind of crazy to think if he actually did inject him and his family. Um, goes to show you how confident he was in that fucking thing. And there are those fucking Republicans. Expanding Wall Street. Alright, let's do... To, let's reduce the military-industrial complex. Our involvement in the Second American Civil War ended ten years ago, yet our industrialists are still creating thousands of weapons a day. To truly return to civilian life, we must curb the military-industrial complex's hold on our government. It's interesting that we're using that term. Eisen Actually, I don't know where Eisenhower is, in all fairness. Future of Ulster. Interesting. Sure, we'll look into it. There we go. We'll wait a couple of days to see how this goes. Main Republicans. I don't get. I don't get it. I really don't.
Womp womp. Might hold off on doing that for a bit. Keep up with low-level contacts and probably state reps. We'll keep that going. We'll be good. Um, doo -doo -doo. Two Marines, why not? Following this, new industry. The second Valkyrie brought a plethora of new technology and changes to economic systems. Our government needs to capitalize on this new industry so that we do not fall behind other countries. How's New York City doing? Pretty good, all things considered. Oh, those fucking Republicans are coming. And now the condoms are suffering. Establish contacts in the legislature. trade no we'll probably just, we probably just want free trade Blue Smith and Wesson let's get those guys in there I think I got that new industry okay that actually helps us I want to see if I can get the, um, can't get the command for, eh, true. All right, I'll take that. Could do the beginning of the computer industry. Why not? While well, Alan Turing created the first modern computer in the Union of Britain, many New England saw a massive opportunity. With our growing economy, computers are being developed and produced in New England, leading to the growth of a brand new industry. Contacts. No, we can't do that. Level of artillery. We can do better into air though. Excavation three. Alright, next up let's do construction three. That's the play. Early growth report, Civic Factory in Vermont. Oh, Jesus. Catastrophic, really? We got the low level contacts at least. Let's do the Caribbean expansion. Yeah. New England food manufacturers rely on Caribbean sugarcane, inviting Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Trinidad, and Cuba. What would allow not only NATO member economies to boom, but it would help out the struggling economies of Caribbean nations. Why not? What are these guys up to? What's on by Canada and France? Interesting. Not the UK, just France. Now let's get some civic factories. Some Connecticut. 
Someone Philly. Motherfucker. So where are the all the RNG is just against me today for all the party stuff. There we go, let's get working on some of the stuff. We can't quite expand Newark Harbor yet. We've got a lot of economic projects done. Norway Maker and Trade Organization was created as a means to facilitate the trade between the free American governments and our allies in Canada. To that end, it has been serving us well so far by streaming custom streamlining customs measures and lowering barriers to trade. By pulling our resources together, we have been able to leverage our strength for our economies to gain a serious edge against our rivals near home and abroad. But as Canada keeps its sights set on Britain and France, we have an opportunity to utilize NATO as a tool to expand our own influence across the Americas. The Caribbean is a major source of agricultural goods that most of NATO's founders cannot grow oh, and would open up more markets for us to export our industrial goods in exchange. Meanwhile, each member would gain an equal vote on NATO's council, meaning they could steer future infrastructure investments into their own countries. One advisor has compiled a list of amendable NATO nominees that could best help the organization. Puerto Rico, for better or worse, America has a long history tied to Puerto Rico, and we know that their economy is powered by agriculture, textiles, and chemical exports. Sugar, rum, and coffee are of particular interest to us, and we have a lot to gain exporting power tools to grow their industrial boom. New England's significant Puerto Rican population, we hope to find common ground to entice them to join us at the table as equals for the first time. Jamaica, newly invented Jamaica, has a lot to offer in NATO markets. The typical Caribbean crash cups like sugar and banana are enticing, but the real draw of Jamaica is significant bauxite and alumina aluminum oxide deposits. Bauxite and alumina are fantastic sources of component materials in the production of aluminum, which is increasingly vital for advancing weapons tech. Meanwhile, Jamaica's rapidly growing population has a growing demand for grains and transport machinery, two things we can easily provide. Trinidad. Oil is the name of the game in Trinidad, and there are many eager to export it, and NATO has the experts required to develop this industry to fuel our growing demand for petroleum. Finally, Cuba. Cuban tourism is particularly attractive to our citizens, but the real draw is oil, nickel, and citrus. Additionally, restoring close ties to Cuba might help us renegotiate pre-Civil War leasing rights with their government. Based in the Caribbean will be a huge leg up against the longest. Hmm. I think Puerto Rico is probably the easiest bet. All the cultural ties we have with them. Um... What do we want to do? Let's expand immigration quotas. Across the world, there are citizens who lost everything in the Second Belt Creek, who are applying for visas to the Americas. With the end of the Second American Civil War long by as we can expand our immigration quotas, taking this new wave of immigrants. Oh, it looks like we can just invite all these guys. Um, Trinidad sounds pretty good. Uh, Cuba. And Jamaica. There we go. That's what I like to see. The... Oh, there we go. The British government has forwarded the Avalon paper secret government written plan to cause an event that would allow the British government to legally circumvent and withdraw from the punitive Oxford Treaty. While well, there are many amongst us, our government, who are pleased at the idea of getting out of the Oxford Treaty, a loophole described, will offer them serious leg work on the part of Ernst. Internal intelligence services. Bottom line is, if the British government is preparing a belligerent move against the Germans, then we need to be ready to support them. Fingers crossed, chaps. Next up, first issue of TV Guide flies off shore shelves. Triangle Publications, a new hit under its belt, as the first issue of new TV Guide magazine are flying off of shell newspaper stalls across the nation. The inaugural issue's headline titled Lucy's. $50 million baby features the newborn son of Isla Lucy stars Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball. Named after his father, the young Desi is sure to follow in the, his family's footsteps with a career in showbiz. While numerous television listing publications have come before it, TV Guide seems poised to become the dominant force in the market. 
Stories have reportedly asked Triangle to publish more copies of next issue, as they expect them to sell quickly. Fifty million dollars for one baby? If you say so. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave things there. But thanks always for watching game. Like if you like, dislike, you didn't leave any comments, feedback down in the comment section below. I read all the comments you get. I appreciate any feedback you might have for me. And yeah, check out my very soon sounds good box below. And I think you all know the deal by now. Thanks for watching, gang. My name has been Mr. Dogwood333. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.